Hi there, the speed on your Mercedes W124 is incorrect. For instance, you are driving at 80, but it marks 100 or whatever other amount. You want to know how to calibrate it? Then watch that video, I'll show it to you now. First thing we'll have to do is obviously remove uh, the speedo uh, and dismantle it, okay? Uh, if you watch my other video, I'll show it to you how it's done, okay? So now that we have it, uh, the important thing is to remove the needle, okay? So for instance, look, I'm just gonna put it the other way around here. Okay, you see, you see where it's standing, okay? So you remove it, you let the whole spring go on its own and then you place the needle like that okay once it's done then you put it back again on top that's it and now let's go for a drive to find out what difference do we have huh, between the real and the false we now need to know the difference between the speed uh, that is showing on the car and the actual speed we're going to. For this, we're gonna use our phone. Uh, every phone now has a GPS, so you just open a GPS, uh, which usually is Google Maps. You select any destination, and now we're gonna be driving the car. The Google Maps will actually show you the actual speed, uh, and now that speed, we're gonna compare it with the, the speed we got on the car and this will be the difference that we'll have to adjust okay so i'm driving and i will try not to get uh, not to have an accident uh, you try to get a, a constant speed okay and you compare with the gps as you can see there's a difference of about 10 kilometers per hour okay so this is what i will have to change now okay so let's go home let's dismantle and let's adjust it we are now back and I've dismantled everything again and uh, in my case, okay, because every speedo are different and depending if your car is diesel, petrol, uh, depending on the engine, etc. Uh, so me, I've got a difference of approximately 10 kilometers per hour. So obviously, uh, uh, if I uh, retard the needle uh, from 10, that won't be correct because it's retain here so i just move it like so okay so what i'll do now i'll measure the distance between this and that which is 10 kilometers and i will add it from here to there okay then i will use some kind of uh, cello tape to put it there obviously you won't mark it with the pen because it will show okay and then we'll remove again the needle and we'll place it where it should go and then after that we'll go again for a drive as you have seen, I've placed the scotch here huh? and uh, I've removed the needle and I've placed it where it should go, more or less. Okay, so now we'll mount it all back together and we're gonna go for a drive. Normally, it should be more or less okay. Huh? There may be a slight difference, but uh, it shouldn't be like before. Okay, uh, obviously, a difference of 10 kilometers it, it's a lot. Uh, but now we should be more or less okay. Huh? So if you want, you can continue doing this huh? and adjusting, adjusting until you got it perfect. Uh, me, if I've got a few kilometers away, it doesn't matter really. Huh? Uh, obviously not 10, but you know. So anyway, let's uh, go and try it now. Okay, let's try again. I will try to stabilize the car on a certain speed and we'll compare it with um, the phone and see the difference. So I'll try to go 40, for instance, and let's see what it marks. I think it's pretty good, isn't it? Look at that. I'll go 50. There we go, 50, 50. Nice, I'm pretty pleased with that, okay? So that's it, now you know how to do it. 
that's it as you have seen very easy huh? uh, very easy but of course if you don't know how to do it it's a big problem okay so uh, i hope that will be useful to you and i'm sure a lot of people will want to see that video uh, so if you want to learn more about those cars uh, don't hesitate to see the other video i've got uh, i've got plenty to show you uh, how to fix them okay uh, so until the next video see ya